Hello and welcome back to another DIY video. Before we get started, make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the bottom right hand corner. And we're going to be changing out the transmission fluid on this Toyota Corolla GR. This is the circuit edition. Some tools you're going to need for this DIY just starting from left to right. This is going to be the MT LV transmission fluid. So it's a little under three quarts, but I just went ahead and just got the three just to uh, make sure we have a little bit extra. Le uh, starting from left to right, you can meet, need a extra fine flat blade screwdriver. This can be like a door trim removal tool. I'll show you that more here in a moment. Some type of gear oil pump. This is going to be more of a specialty tool and not that it's special. It's just um, not a standard size, but this is a 24 millimeter socket, 3 8 ratchet. Uh, the 10 millimeter socket right here with a battery powder ratchet if you want and of course a torque wrench I already have mine preset at 27 foot-pounds for the drain drain plug and the fill plug oil catch can and of course some wheel ramps jack stands and a floor jack but I'll show you all that here in just a moment before we get started you want to make sure you get it to operating temperature so the gear fluid is running smoothly I'm going to show you some of the jack points on this GR edition right here make sure you get it nice and snug on there nothing's gonna happen but just get it on the pinch welds there I'm gonna go into the back right, so coming in from the rear on your floor jacks I'm gonna show you the best jack point that I found it's gonna be right there it's gonna be right in the rear of the suspension component it's a right there very strong though it's a great point so jack it up from the or ride it up on your wheel ramps jack it up in the rear and then put down your jack stands because you want to make sure the car is level all right, so coming in from the front, we're gonna have to drop the belly pan. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. Let me get my camera adjusted. All right. All right, so these are pretty standard 10 millimeters. I'm just gonna take this out. Yeah, let me get an extension. All right, here we go. take these out one two three four and there's gonna be a few more back there so just take them all out and this middle part should drop down Next, you're going to get your plastic pry tool right here. Oops. Try to zoom in for you. That's what it looks like right there. You can get a flat blade screwdriver, wedge it in here, get your pry tool. Try to pop this out first. zoom back out so you can see the rest of it take the rest of these out because we're just trying to loot you don't have to drop this whole pan let me zoom out so you can see more you don't have to drop this whole pan we're just trying to loosen it up just enough so you can drop this main one right here so we can get access to where the transmission drain bolt is all right so once you remove all of the fasteners go ahead and drop that tray and just kind of get it out of the way we're just going to go ahead and scoot it all the way down all right, I'm going to reposition the camera here in just a moment. All right, guys, let me go back out. Just scooting over just a little bit so we can get a better view on what we need to do. All right. Try to get this camera under here. Go ahead and zoom in. So, let's see. I think that's it right there. Pretty sure that's it. So, this right here should be your drain bolt. And then your fill bolt. I'm gonna have to move the camera around one moment. Give me a moment, let me get a flashlight. All right, so we're back under the car now. 
This right here is going to be the drain bolt. This is going to be a, let me zoom in so you can take a look at it. This is the drain bolt right here. This is 22 millimeters. And then the fill bolt is up here, which I'll show you here in just a moment. Let me zoom out. Try to get in the frame. Let's see. Kind of hard to see, but this right here is going to be the fill bolt. And this one right here is going to be 24. So we're going to crack this one loose first because you want to make sure that you can fill in what you're about to drain out. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and crack the fill nut right there. Let me zoom in for you. This right here is going to be the fill bolt. This is 24 millimeters. It's a very tight squeeze. There you go. Get moving now it's loose now we're going to go down to our drain bolt right there this one is going to be 22 millimeters Make sure it seats properly before you crank on it so you don't round it off and strip it. All right. All right here we go. we go it's super super hot so just be careful hopefully it doesn't spill all over the place just add a little pressure before you pull it off and three oops all right three sorry sorry the drain bolt's just really hot There you go. It actually looks pretty good. Go ahead and let that drain out. Once I get a steady stream, then I'm gonna remove the uh, fill fill hole. All right guys, so now it's coming down to a slow drip. I'm gonna zoom out. Change this camera right here for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my fill bolt. There it is looks brand new and perfect all right so make sure you replace your washers every time these are single use because once you crush it it is no longer usable so go ahead and this one already fell off in the pan yeah replace them both if you notice on the drain bolt right here it has a cutout so that if you were to remove this you technically don't have to remove it the whole way like I did you can get it all the way up to the end and it'll slowly drip out of these four edges right here so pretty smart on the engineering side all right so now we're going to go ahead and replace the fill bolt right, right there all right Always do this by hands because you don't want to cross thread it. Ah, give me just a moment. Let me fix this positioning on the washer. Okay, perfect. Again, yeah, you definitely want to do this by hand. Don't just crank it on there. And this is going to be 27 foot pounds. All right, guys, I'm going to torque that here in just a moment. Let me go ahead and just wipe this up. 
Get your brake cleaner. And then I'm gonna torque it once I get all the grease off. Getting my torque wrench, again, 27 foot-pounds. All right, we're, just, we're waiting for the click. it. You heard the click. Now let's, let's go ahead and fill it up. All right, guys, now that that is on, let's go ahead. Well, let me zoom out. Zooming out even more. Now you're just going to fill this up right here with your gear pump oil and until it starts dripping out. All right, guys, here we go. So we're going to go ahead and try to pump this in. This is the setup I have, this gear whoops where's the hole there it is okay so feed this in and you literally just start pumping until it starts spilling out all right guys so now that you see that it is flowing out that means that it is full go ahead and pull that out and we're going to put on that fill bolt again 27 foot pounds all right, guys, so I'm going to let that drip out for a little bit until it comes to a steady stream. Then I'm going to crank on the uh, fill bolt. All right, guys, now we're down to a slow drip. I'm going to go ahead and button it up. Again, you always want to put these on by hand because you don't want to cross thread it. You'll have a pretty bad day. So, see that? All right, again, 27 foot-pounds. Get my torque wrench. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but everything will be okay. that off in a moment all right all right guys well that is pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video because I'm trying to keep it short go ahead and reinstall that belly pan, belly pan uh, get everything reinstalled make sure again the car is level you should be good to go if you like this video make sure you give me that thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm don't forget to subscribe to the channel in the bottom right hand corner and I will see you on the next one thanks for watching